now for everyone's second favorite game show after what goes in the cereal bowl first, milk or cereal? It's two what's and a wow! With your hosts, Mindy and to two what's and a wow. Two what's and a wow. The scientific game show that separates the wows from the what's. And the category or theme for today is the Guinness Book of World Records. Mindy, why don't you refresh our contestants on how the game works? You know it. Wowzers, in each of our three rounds today, Guy Raz and I will present you with three statements about kids who set wow-worthy world records. But... This is a big butt. Only one of those statements will be a true wow. The other two, just a couple of made up what? Now, in each round, if you guess correctly, congratulations, you win a point. But if you guess incorrectly, you must stop, drop, and do a ridiculous physical challenge. Okay, everyone ready to start the game? Great, then let's get to it. Okay, round one. At age six, what was Simmer Karana the youngest person to create? Was it A, a smartphone? Or was it B, a time machine? Or was it C, a video game? When you think you have the correct answer, yell it in the world's slowest voice. <laughs> hey, Reg, let's get some thinking music. And time is up. Let's now reveal the winning wow. And to do just that, it's Simmer herself. Simmer, what's that wow? Hi, my name is Simmer. I live in Canada. My wow is that I set the Guinness World Record for the youngest video game developer at age six. Winner, winner, video games for dinner. Thank you, Simmer. Contestants, if you guessed the answer C, a video game, well, congratulations, you found the winning wow. When she was six years old, Simmer Karana's dad noticed that she had a knack for math and making up her own games. So he signed her up for coding classes. Simmer learned to program her first video game, making her the youngest ever video game developer. Simmer's game is called Healthy Food Challenge, and she designed it to teach other kids her age about the benefits of eating fruits and vegetables. Now, if you did not get that answer correct, you must stop, drop, and become a video game character. <laughs> Run, jump, jump, roll, run, roll! Uh, Mindy? I was about to get the combo! <laughs> okay, time for round two. When Wiley Bryce was four years old, what was he the youngest person to discover? Was it A, a fossil of an unknown dinosaur? Or was it B, Reggie's secret underground arcade? Or was it C, a star in the Andromeda galaxy? When you think you have the correct answer, yell, I have the world's stinkiest socks! <laughs> hey, Reggie. <laughs> Time is up, and joining us by phone, it's world record holder, Wiley. Wiley, please reveal the winning wow. Hi, my name is Wiley Bryce, and I live in Texas in the United States. My wow is that I set the world record for being the youngest person to discover a fossil of an unknown dinosaur species. Winner, winner, dinos for dinner! Thank you, Wiley. 
Buddy, wowzers, if you guessed A, a fossil of an unknown dinosaur, well, congratulations, you found the winning wow. In 2014, four-year-old Wiley Bryce was digging for fossils with his dad when he found a fossilized rib from a species of dinosaur that had never been discovered before. After more of the dinosaur was excavated, scientists at Southern Methodist University found that the bones are about a hundred million years old. They believe the bones belong to a type of armored dinosaur called a nodosaur. Wow. It just goes to show what you might find while exploring outdoors. Now, if you did not get that answer correct, you must stop, drop, and roar like a dinosaur. <laughs> okay, round three. 15-year-old Arnav Daga built the largest structure ever made out of which material? Was it A, toothpicks? Or was it B, playing cards? Or was it C, candy? When you think you have the correct answer, yell it into the world's largest megaphone. <laughs> Time is up, and joining us by phone, here's Arnav. Arnav, please reveal the winning wow. Hi, my name is Arnav, and I live in India. My wow is that I set the world record for the largest playing card structure by stacking four heritage buildings from Kolkata. Winner, winner, house of cards for dinner. Thank you, Arnav. Wowzers, if you guessed, B, playing cards. Well, congratulations, you found the winning wow. At age 15, Arnav Daga set the world record for building the largest playing card structure in the world without using tape or glue. He used 143,000 playing cards to create models of four real life buildings in his home city of Kolkata. It took Arna 41 days to build his structure, which was about 40 feet long, 17 feet wide, and 11 feet high, roughly the size of a shipping container. Now, if you did not get that answer correct, you must stop, drop, and build an invisible playing card structure, and then knock it down. <laughs> and now, it's time to take a moment to thank our sponsors. Today's show is brought to you in part by Arguing With Your Friends. In 1955, the first Guinness Book of World Records was published with the intention of settling arguments like this one. I'm telling you, G-Force, the world's largest cookie was an oatmeal raisin. Uh-uh, it was a snickerdoodle. Remember, this was before you could do a quick internet search on your phone, so these arguments could get Get pretty heated. Raisins are disgusting and you know it. Well, you take that back. And because so many people were yelling their heads off trying to figure out who was the tallest person or the fastest bird, we now have a book that can give us the answers. Like how it says here that the world's largest cookie was chocolate chip and weighed 40,000 pounds. Well, I'll be. Whatever. <laughs> What was that? Oh, Guy Raz, that sound can mean only one thing. We got tickets to the opera? No, it's time for today's Bonker Balls bonus round. And we're gonna try something a little bit different. We've got a very special guest contestant to answer today's Bonker Balls question. We do? Who is it? Please welcome Guy Raz! <laughs> Wow, I've always wanted to answer one of these. Guy Raz, your Bonker Balls bonus question is, how many active records are there in the Guinness Book of World Records? Is it A, 855? Or is it B, 9,222? Or is it C, 65,940? Hmm, that's a tough one. I mean, there are so many incredible people and animals and things in this world, so, um, uh, uh, I'm gonna say C. Is that your final answer? Yes, C. Your final, final answer? Uh, 
yes. Your final, 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 final. Mindy, just tell me already. Guy Razi, you are correct. Phew. There are 65,940 active record titles, and new ones are being set all the time. In fact, 4,975 records were approved in the year 2023 alone. Well, congratulations to all of our winning wowzers. Mindy, what's today's prize? Hey, Roz, today's winning wowzers will all receive their very own world's largest serving of pancakes. Reggie, <laughs> cue the prize cannon. Fire away! No! Watch out for flying flapjacks! Mindy, this is too many pancakes! I know. That's what makes it a world record, Guy Raz. Uh, well, uh, how many pancakes were in the world's largest serving? Oh, 13,000! Mindy! Can't forget the maple syrup! <sighs> Well, that's about all the time we have for today, but if you want to keep the fun going, then become a member of the World Organization of Wowzers and unlock hundreds of activities. And for any teachers in our listening audience, consider joining Tinker Class, our free brand new learning platform that helps get kids wild about science. Just visit tinkercast.com slash membership. That's tinkercast.com slash membership. And be sure to come back on Monday for a brand new episode of Wow in the World this weekend for some Wee Wow in the Weekend with Dennis. And again on Friday for a new episode of Two What's and a Wow. Until then, keep, keep on, on wowing. Wow.